during this time, I'm going to call on Brother Carpenter to come and pray. And then I ask uh, Pastor, La Pastor Thomas to just come and greet the church and then pray. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bless the name Jesus. Lord, you are worthy. Without you, we couldn't make it this far. I'm going to give God thanks this morning because last weekend, I don't think I would be here today. But the grace of the mighty one came me too. So I just want to give thanks this morning for your mercy and grace, Lord, that you brought us from me. Father God, I just want to give thanks this morning for every member that are here, Lord. I don't know what they come for, but I know what I come for, God. Bless us, Lord. Physically, spiritually, and financially. Lord, we we'll never make it this far if it wasn't for you. Get and protect us, take us to a various place when we're going home back home, Lord. Take full control that we serve. We look to your Bible and give thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Glory to God. I give preeminence to the Holy Spirit and I greet my beloved Apostle Edwards and the musician, the pastor, Minister Shaw, all the pastors on the platform, all the singers and the musicians and all the audience in Jesus' name. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. You know, God said with loving kindness, have I drawn you unto myself. God says he put before you life and death. He said choose life. The devil comes to kill, steal, and destroy. Don't become his trophy. Because when God kicked him out of heaven, we replaced him so he hates us. So all he wants to do is to kill us and take us into hell. And my question is why would you want to stay a minute with someone who wants to kill you and take you into hell? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Amen. Let us pray. Lord, I worship you today. I magnify your name. You are the great I am. You are the sovereign Lord. You are great in all your ways. And so, Lord, we are glad that you are our God. Lord, we are glad that Jamaica God is Jesus. Yes, Jamaica God is Jesus. We don't have no false God. Yes, we may not serve him, but we know that Jesus is Lord of this island. He's Lord of this nation. He's our Lord. Glory to God. And we extend him all over Jamaica from Niguel Point to Moron Point. And we said he shall have authority. He shall have the preeminence. He shall be Lord in every sphere of our life, in government, in business, in our social life, in our economic life, in our spiritual life, in our psychological life. In our, physical, in our physiological life, he shall in our psychological life, he is Lord, and he shall be Lord. And I say, this nation belongs to God. And I say, Jamaica is a chosen nation. Glory to God that shall bring forth the praises of the Lord. Glory to God, and his revival is about to break through from Jamaica to the Caribbean to the rest of the world. Yes, we are divinely appointed. For Jamaica has a destiny and it shall fulfill its destiny. And I give God thanks. And after we fulfill our destiny, then the Lord will come and then Israel will take over. I give you praise, I give you glory, I give you honor, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, give him the praise. Give him the glory and the honor this morning. Glory to God. I'm going to call on Brother Keys to pray. And after that, then Minister Brown. Minister Keys and then Minister Brown. Good afternoon. Yes, Lord. Mighty Jesus. Mighty God. Wash us, Lord, and cleanse us, mighty God, from our sin, O oh God. Because we all have sin, O oh God. And come short of the glory of the power of the Almighty God. So we ask you this morning, O oh God, to cleanse us, O oh God, and purge us, O oh God. 
Purify us, mighty Jesus, from our sin, O oh God, almighty Jesus. As we come, O oh God, almighty Jesus, we come in your name, Jesus. Some come for healing, deliverance, and breakthrough, O oh God, almighty Jesus. Father God, we ask you, O oh God, almighty Jesus, those who come, mighty God, to be saved, O oh God, almighty God, and come for healing and deliverance, O oh God, almighty Jesus. I pray you touch them, Jesus. I pray you heal them, O oh God, almighty Jesus. I pray Lord God, you turn them life around, oh God. Those who oppress and depress, oh God. I pray, Lord Jesus, they will never go home the same way. Then come, mighty Jesus, mighty God. Transform them, Jesus. And I pray, Lord, they look to you, mighty God, mighty Jesus. And I pray, oh God, after when you heal them, turn them, Jesus, around to you, Lord. And I pray, oh God, they will dwell in your house, oh God, for all the day of them life, oh God. And to behold the beauty of the coming of the Almighty God. And I pray oh God and wait upon the Lord God Almighty Jesus and be of good courage oh God Almighty God Father God we ask oh God Almighty to touch the apostle oh God Almighty God Father God Almighty God give him fresh anointing oh God give him the spirit of discernment oh God Almighty God to see the things oh God and speak the word to the people of the people oh God Almighty Jesus let the word come out of him belly oh God as a two edged sword oh God pierced to the marrow and bone oh God Almighty Jesus any spirit that is not like unto your Jesus when you open up your mouth oh God those spirit will have to flee through the blood of Jesus Christ God of Nazareth Father God we plead the blood of Jesus in this house oh God plead the blood around it oh God plead the blood inside oh God because we know what the blood can do oh God because we know that Jesus there's power healing deliverance oh God and breakthrough oh God in the blood of Jesus Christ God of Nazareth Father God we ask you oh God touch each and every one for the God, we ask you, oh God Almighty God, to have your way now, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the praise and worship, oh God. We thank you, Lord, and we pray, oh God, you cover him and in the blood, Jesus. Guide our Lord, protect all Jesus, protect our children, children, oh God. Mighty Jesus, build a fence around them, Jesus. Going out and coming, in, oh God, Almighty Jesus, because you are choosing, oh God, oh God, in time like this, oh God. You choose our Lord, continue to choose her, continue to use her, oh God, for your glory. Glory, Jesus. Can't he use each and every one, mighty Jesus, mighty God. We bless you and we thank you in Jesus Christ, precious holy name I pray. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Father, we come to you this morning, oh God. Father, we humble ourselves this morning, almighty God. Father, we cry out unto you this morning, almighty God. Father, God, the word declared that we should lift up our eyes unto the hills from whence cometh our help. Father, all of our help cometh from you, almighty God. Father, indeed, you are the way maker. Father God, we come to acknowledge that you are the bridge over every troubled waters, almighty God. Father God, we come this morning, almighty God, to acknowledge you that you are the only savior. You are the only wise God. It's only you can deliver us, almighty God. Father God, the word declared that who oh, the son set free is truly free indeed, almighty God. Mighty God, we come to know that there is nothing impossible with you. With man it may seem impossible, but with God all things are possible, oh God. Father, we come with an open mind. We come with an open heart, almighty God. And Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Father God, we put our situation, our circumstances, our issues before you, almighty God. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God. You who know how to set free. You who know how to lift the heavy burden, to lift the yoke, the bondages, almighty God. The chain, the fetters that seem to all our lives down, almighty God. 
the king of all kings, the lord of all lords, the conquering lion of the tribe of Judah, we come to you this morning, almighty God. Abba Father, we come to you this morning, almighty God. The God of our salvation, we come to you this morning, oh God. You that call us out of darkness into your marvelous light, we come to you this morning, almighty God. In the name of Jesus and Father, we ask that you will do a new thing this morning, oh God. Father God, we declare and decree that this is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it, almighty God. Father God, in spite of the report that we have heard yesterday, in spite of the report we are here this morning, Father God, we declare and decree that this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it, Almighty God. Father God, we put our trust in you. Father God, we declare, they that put their trust in you shall be like Mount Zion, and they shall not remove, Almighty God. Father God, I pray this morning, oh God, that you will wash us this morning, oh God. Father God, we ask that you will cleanse us from every sin, oh mighty God. Father God, creating us a clean heart this morning, oh God, and renew a right spirit, oh God. Father God, we pray this morning, oh mighty God, that anything in the atmosphere which is not of God, which want to end our prayers, want to end our praise, oh mighty God, we plead the blood of Jesus against every principalities, every powers, every forces of darkness, everything which is not of the living God, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, oh God. Mighty God, we say let God arise in our midst and let the enemy be scattered. Let God arise. Let let God arise. Mighty God, the word declare that one shall chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight. It is not by mind nor by power this morning, but it is by the spirit of the living God. Oh, mighty God, move by your spirit, oh God. And of thine own way we pray this morning, oh God. Father God, we declare and decree, Almighty God, that you are our glory, Almighty God. You are our glory and the lift up our heads, Almighty God. Lift up your heads, only gates, and be lifted up your everlasting door. And the King of glory shall come in. Who is the King of glory? The Lord that who is strong and mighty, mighty in every battle. Lift up your heads, only gates. Lift up your heads, people of change station, and be lifted up your everlasting door. Endure. Oh, glory to your name, Jesus. Glory, glory be to God into the highest. Hallelujah, 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 Jesus. Mighty God, we come against everything this morning, God, which is not of you, oh God. Father God, show up for us today, O oh God. Show up and do sign and wonders this morning, Almighty God. Sign and wonders this morning, O oh God. We will never live the same way we came, O oh God. Mighty God, we will be delivered. We will be set free. Chains will be broken. Yoke will be destroyed, Almighty God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. There is power. There is power. There is power. There is power in the name of Jesus Christ of the living God. Sweet Holy Spirit. Sweet Holy Spirit. Let your power, let your anointing, let your fire, Almighty God. Let the fire of the living God burn everything which is not of you in this house, O oh God. Father God, we come into our life to you this morning, God. Father, we come into our spirit. We come into our soul. We come into our body. We commit everything to you, Almighty God. And Father, we pray that you will use us for your glory and for your honor in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O oh God. Father God, we ask that you will cover our leaders under your blood, Jesus. Cover him under your blood, Lord. Cover his ears, Almighty God. Father God, we decree and declare that our apostles shall hear no other voice but your voice that makes a difference in the life of your people, Almighty God. Father God, we declare and decree that you will speak thus, said the Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, O God. Father, we thank you, Jesus, for what you have done, O God. 
and what you are about to do even now, oh God. Father, we say move by your spirit and have thy own way. We pray, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, praise him. Lift up the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody, shout the name of Jesus Christ. Come on, somebody, glorify God. We are in the house of God. We serve a live God. We serve a mighty God. We serve an all-powerful God. We serve a magnificent God. We are all the people this morning. Come on, somebody, go ahead and lift up the name of Jesus. Hallelujah! 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 Glory to God! Thank you, Jesus! What a mighty God we serve! I just want to give God thanks for those that pray this morning. We thank God for Pastor Thomas and our two ministers. We give thanks for Pastor, for Brother Cart, um, Carpenter. We just want to give God thanks for them, brethren. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to call on Brother Norval to just come and share his testimony. Bless the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Don't God is good. God is good. God is wonderful good. He do um, very much for me. He cleanse me. He heal me. I have to give him the biggest praise. I can't give no thank you, thank you, praise. Because what he do for me, I have to give him the highest praise. I love him too much to feel him now. I don't know what see me is working, but I'm going to tell my testimony. For my babe, I sick with my two kidney. Go on dialysis machine. I go out. I'll, I'll, I'll go, I'll say I'll go to the world doctor in, the, in Jamaica. And I tell her, my two kingdom bad, them small. Till about two, 20 years now, till about 20 years now, my, I go to bus stop right at the bus stop there. And I see, until I come in from the hospital, I can get the right, right. But I didn't talk the right thing. I come from the hospital. And I crawl, my belly swell. I I go like this, and I crawl. Then put me out of the hospital and say they can't not more to me. Then give me three days to live, three days, three days they give me to live. And I crawl out of that hospital, Spanish on hospital, and I hear the church at at Basco the big tent. And Pastor Bishop said. Somebody here with a belly, in belly swell, and I sit down, because I couldn't stand up. I sit down, and then call the second thing, say, somebody with a belly swell is soon dead. I sit down, sell place, and then here third time, I get up, I crawl, got up, up to that rastam, and then I crawl at the rastam, and say, brother, you're dying. But I gotta heal it today. You believe? Unless you believe, you gotta heal. This 20 years now, my two kidneys get better. I don't have no kidney problem. They say, they, they, they doesn't look at me and say, I can't eat any anything. But you see now, I eat any anything. I drink anything now. I'll, they say we can't even live up nothing at all because I, I give you three days to live. I can't do nothing more to you. Who is doctor? Who is doctor? 
He said, if you believe in Jesus, once you believe, everything is possible. Only believe that Jesus can heal you. He heal you. It's upon that day, right now I'm working, the security work, night shift, then put me with their work. They really love me because my family passed me, some, my family passed me after this morning and don't believe says me, you know. Wow. This morning, Glenn passed me right at the gas station. And Glenn, I said, Glenn, Uncle Glenn, I said, no way. Are you that? I say yes, it's, it's me because you're looking for a maga man. But thank God. Thank God. Thank God. Hey, you tell you come to church you now, you have to serve God enough. You know? I tell you, God is he, he is to serve. There is a God. Who no believes there is a God? God is to be served. I tell you, my two kingdom bad. I'm three, three days. I say, I'm not afraid, you know. But I cry. I tell you, that service makes me feel good. I cry, I cry. But I know, say, God, I got to heal me. 20 years now, I'm healed. I'm healed. I tell you, Pastor, I don't go no more doctor. I know I don't go no more doctor. I don't seek nothing down to me. But his work, you cannot see me, Pastor. My God. Bishop, his work, you cannot see me. My God. I have to come to, I come last week Wednesday, I tell us I come in and then come to work again. That's why I don't get to come last week Wednesday. But God, I pray, I pray. To, to, I have to make it today. I have to make it today because God does so much things for me. I can't feel him. I can't feel him because. He is a God. Who no believe he is a God? No make it. Because me tell you, is it God? What he do for me? Me say, me, me have a cry. Every time I cry, I, I pray for my brother over there. My brother in God dreams are fierce. He said, he said, thing I may have him, I'll be kidney problem. And I touch him, I touch my kidney, I touch him one. And he go to the doctor and say, kidney, all right. You touch my one, and I touch him and say, my brother, you're ill today, you're ill. He said, Chris, not going to more doctor. He said, I'm going to go to the doctor and then go to the doctor, Bishop. He said, ill, no, no more kidney problem. And one kidney was hurting, kidney, then say kidney bad. And I touch my kidney and touch him. Believe, yes. and his kidneys are okay now. I said, "Me you, lift up your hand to Jesus." This is my few words. Thank you, Bishop. Praise the Lord, Church. Come on, clap your hands and give God a praise. Stand with me, everybody. There is no secret. What God can do, what He has done for others, He'll do for you. With arms wide open, He'll pardon you. Glory to God. There is no secret, hallelujah, what God can do. It is no secret, what God can do. Glory to God, what He has done for others. He'll do for you with arms wide open. He'll pardon you. It is no secret. 
Hallelujah. What God can do. Sing it one more time, everybody, with your hands lifted. Sing it. It is no secret what God can do. Glory to God. What He has done for others. Yes, for sure. He'll do it for you. With arms wide open, He'll pardon you. Glory to God. It is no secret what God can do. Let's join our voices together as we pray now. Father, we thank you. Everybody pray. We thank you for your manifested power, for your glorious anointing, for your presence that we're feeling so rich. Lord, we thank you that you're here in our midst, ready to do wonders among us. God, we thank you that you've healed and you have delivered. We thank you that you've set others free. And now, Lord God, as we humble ourselves in your presence, we pray for your mighty visitation. Come through, God. Do wonders among us on today. Show up on behalf of your children. Your children humble wait at your feet. We thank you for your glorious presence. We thank you for your holy manifestation. We thank you for your light that you shine right round about us and your glory that has taken over. God, have your way now. Bring healing and deliverance. Cause of your spirit, God, to take over. The light and the counsel of God to shine greatly. Jesus, thou son of David. Jesus, thou son of Nazareth. We cry aloud unto thee, O Jesus. And thank you, Jesus of Nazareth, that you're with us on today. Hear my prayers, God, and hear every one of us who cry aloud unto thee. May your spirit take dominance in our midst as you rule and reign among us. Hear my prayers now, for I call upon thee by faith and thank you for your great manifestation today in Jesus' name. Everybody say amen. Come on, clap your hands everywhere and let's just shout a hallelujah. Amen. God bless you. You may be seated. I want to thank God for every one of us who are here and especially our leaders. Pastor Lambie Thomas, Minister Shaw and all of the others as leaders who are here. I want to greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus. I want to thank God for all the brothers and sisters who some of you have traveled from a far way to be with us. We give God thanks that you're following this movement. Because God is up to something big and we want to thank him for everything that he's doing. Somebody praise Jesus. The light and the counsel of God is shining greatly. And we want to thank God for everything that he has done and everything that he continues to do. Sunday morning we are here every Sunday morning at 7 o'clock and I tell you the service is growing and we thank God for those who are coming. And Wednesdays are always great and we thank God for all of you who are here. Every morning of the week this church has prayer meeting. For those of you who might not know, Sister Monroe knows that every morning we call our prayer meeting. Amen. So if you're not on the prayer line, don't blame me. We've been announcing it ever since you've been coming, and we thank God that you're here. I pray two and a half hours every day. Amen. From 5 until 7 and from 4.30 until 7. Amen. Two and a half hours every day of my life, I pray. Amen. I read the Bible every day, and I thank God for those of you reading the Bible 
and getting stronger in God. Been through the Bible now three times. Amen. This is my fourth time going through the Bible. Somebody praise God. And those of you who have been reading the Bible, I give God thanks for you and ask God's hands upon you and that he lead and direct you in the path that you must trod. If you're not reading the Bible and you're not getting blessing, don't blame me. Somebody help me because we made it possible. If you join the program, let me see those who have Wi-Fi. Lift your hand if your Wi-Fi is working. Yes, thank God. Amen. So a lot of you don't have Wi-Fi. Well, can I tell you how you get Wi-Fi if you don't have Wi-Fi? Go buy Wi-Fi. Amen. <laughs> And do you know where to go and get Wi-Fi, Flow or Digicel? They sell Wi-Fi. Amen. So get your Wi-Fi and jump onto the program. Get yourself built up. People are coming on and hundreds of people join us for prayer meeting. Where are you? So if you want Wi-Fi, go get your Wi-Fi and jump on YouTube, Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry, Facebook, Bishop Rowan Edwards Ministry, and Zoom. Minister Shaw has the Zoom code. You can ask her to get on the Zoom code and jump on and watch God do great things in your life. Well, this Sunday we'll be here at 7 o'clock, then at 9 o'clock. Then we will be under the big tent in Portmore. Everybody shout for that. Under the big tent. Yes. It's going to be right there at Edgewater Roundabout. Amen. Edgewater Roundabout is where we're going to be on this Sunday. And listen, I'm looking forward to have every one of you come in. Amen. Hallelujah. The service begins at 6 o'clock. 6.30, I should say. So therefore, um, I tell you what, for the first Sunday night, we're going to leave, have a bus leaving Garbley Drive at 6 o'clock. So those of you who want to jump on the bus, come on over. Amen. The bus leaves at 6 o'clock and cars will be going. You can jump into a car and motorcade into Portmore. Let's just do God's justice. Amen. And have this great crusade in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Everybody shout a praise. So I just believe that God has something big in store. Amen. We're, we're aiming for a national revival. Everybody say revival for Jamaica. Everybody say it again. Jamaica must see a revival. Something must burst. Say it better than that. Something I go boss. Say that. No, oh, you're Jamaican. Somebody praise Jesus. Amen. We believe that a revival is hitting, coming to Jamaica. And guess what the Lord told me to do? He says, get the churches combined. Amen. Get the churches combined. We did our first combined service in Thompson Pen. First, first Wednesday again, we're doing another one in Thompson Pen. And then the third one, we're going up to Waterloo. Then we come back into Greendale to do the final one for the year. And I tell you, it's going to be great. Amen. God is going to do wonders among us. And then we hit to Portmore for the Unity Revival Service. Amen. Where the churches there combine together. Hallelujah. John, John 17, Jesus paid the prior lawyer, Thomas, that they all will be one. Amen. And it's time now, those of us who believe should be one. Amen. Can I hear the church say amen? amen. The believers must be one. Amen. The Methodists know better than the, than the, than the, than the Baptists. And, and, the, and the church of God know better than the Methodists. And the Jesus only, amen, done better than those who are lighthouse people. Somebody praise Jesus. Amen. I'm a Baptist, you know. Do you know that I'm a Baptist? Yes, I'm a Baptist. So you didn't know. I am a Baptist because I was baptized in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Somebody praise Jesus. Uh, oh, I'm a Jesus only too. You didn't know that? Yes, I worship Jesus only. Somebody praise God. Open your mouth and shout a hallelujah. Amen. Somebody praise God. Oh, you didn't know that I'm a Methodist. I'm a Methodist. Because they use the method of the Bible and beat the devil. Somebody praise God. Come on, open your mouth and shout a hallelujah. Come on, give God some bigger praise in the house. Some of you 
Some of you don't know who we are, and so we give God thanks. Amen. I'm a Presbyterian too. Because I'm pressing up the onwards way. Come on, somebody. New heights I'm gaining every day. Still praying as I onward bound. Lord, plant my feet on higher ground. So we push for revival. Amen. Getting the churches in Jamaica to be together. Amen. Let's join our forces together and become one. Amen. For too long, the churches across the nation has been divided. Everybody dip on one corner. Some people dip on that corner. They think, no, 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 man. Then let's just combine our efforts now. We are Christians. I have different beliefs here and there, but thank God we are all Christians. Somebody praise Jesus. Going to the same heaven. You see, on the day of Pentecost, the, meth, the, 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 the church of Matthew was there. Yeah? The... the the church of St. Paul was there. The center church of St. James was there. All of these churches combined. And the Holy Ghost came. Somebody praise Jesus. Fill all the house where they were seated. Amen. And so I believe that the anointing of God is going to rip the atmosphere. When the church is combined, we're going to see a mighty move. Somebody shout a praise on the house. We're going to see... We're going to see God coming through big time for his people. And I want every one of you who can line yourself up to be in Portmore. Portmore Ministers Fraternal, the Jamaica Association of Full Gospel Churches. We're joining together with the 10,000 men and families movement. And we are going to have church. Somebody shout a praise in the house. And so I believe that many of you are going to line yourself up for the move of God. Be there this Sunday and watch God do some powerful things in your life. Somebody praise God one more time. Lift your hands up and give God another shout of praise, everybody. Come on, magnify the name of the Lord. I remember when Naval came to church. My God, the young man was, well, I didn't know he was sick. The Lord told me what to do and thank God he got healed. Somebody praise God. When I call you, move. Amen. He took a long time before he got up from where he was. And the Lord ministered to him. Remember, I was preaching in Lime Tree. Yes, Mama Shaw, you were there in Lime Tree. Hallelujah. There's a lady who came. I don't know if you were there at the time. You were there in Lime Tree? Jesus. And the woman had a big sore on her foot. I didn't know if somebody had a big sore. But the big cloth wrapped her foot. And she wear a long dress to hide it. So I, I opened this big mouth of mine because the Lord always showed me things. I opened the big mouth of mine. And I said, somebody here, you got a big sore on your foot. The Lord is going to heal you. Amen. I said, come up now. Let me pray with you. And the lady sat down the same way. You know, she don't want nobody to no fear. Come into that. And she'd been hiding the sore for a long time. So she don't want nobody to know. Says she have the source. This is on the same way. Me understand that. I called the next time. I said, the woman that has the sore on your foot, come. And she said, don't see me, you know. And I woke me a big more again. I said, you come, let me pray for your sore. Yes. And then she take time to walk up. My God. I said, woman, you have the sore? And she said, yes, sir. Let me see the sore. And she drop her legs so Drop her dress. And show me the sore. Jesus have mercy. Wrapped with a big old white cloth. And all I did was to blast it in the name of Jesus. Come on somebody. Help me in the house. Come on. Help me in the house. By the time we get to the second night of the crusade. The woman said. Bishop. The things start to dry up. Hallelujah. By almost at the end of the crusade. She came. She said. Bishop. The thing dried up. And let me tell you this. This is God's doing. Hallelujah. She took off the cloth. And now began to take taxi. She said. When she was taking taxi. With the bad foot. The taxi driver said. Come out of my car. Let me car smell bad. But now she was able to take taxi. Without her foot wrapping up anymore. We serve a great big wonderful God. Don't we? Somebody praise Jesus. Lift your hands right now and say, Lord, I depend on you to heal me. I depend on you to set me free. Every crisis in my life, every circumstances that surrounds me, bring me healing today. Bring me deliverance now. God, I'm looking to you by faith. Today is my breakthrough day. 
Shout it loud and say, today is my breakthrough day. Today is the day of my deliverance. Today is the day of my healing. Today is the day of my salvation. Set me free one more time, God. And cause me to rejoice in thee. Somebody praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Open your mouth and give God some praise. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God one more time. Hallelujah. I'm feeling the anointing. Hallelujah. I'm feeling the anointing. And it, t it tells me whenever I feel the anointing like this, somebody is being delivered. Woman, your child is delivered. Somebody praise God. Woman has said your child is delivered. Yes, backed up, backed up woman, but God is granting you victory. Somebody shout a praise. The, 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 the powers of hell have some of you bound, but God is loosing you right now. I decree your home is free from all the forces of darkness that seems to be rocking your family. The God that I serve is right now at your door. Somebody praise God. The God that I serve is right there at your house. He's about to bring life, deliverance, and breakthrough. Lift your hands one more time and just give God a Shabbat praise. Open your mouth and give him another shout of praise because right now there's a visitation. Woo, hallelujah. I said there's a matter of visitation. I said there's a matter of visitation. If you're experiencing the visitation from the Lord, open your mouth and just shout your hallelujah. So when I reached where they were taking me, the accident was out. And they did, yes, the oxygen. Yeah. So they didn't have any at the place for me either. So I don't know what I breed coming back to the hospital. Mm. But the driver of the ambulance says he's going to fix the oxygen in the vehicle. Mm. And he tried and he tried and he tried. And that's how we get some oxygen. Mm. So even then I know that the enemy was still trying to kill her. He wanted to kill her. But the, the good thing about it, I stretched my hands through the little window. <laughs> somebody praise God man when I heard she's dying I flew my car down there like I'm on I'm, I'm flying a jet somebody because I know I know a child of God who loves God somebody praise God who I believe must not die somebody praise God I I believe that God would have brought her through. Somebody praise Jesus. So I pushed my hand through the window. She didn't even know it was me. I grabbed her hand and prayed. Could hardly breathe. Somebody praise God. Businesswoman, hallelujah, who her children love. And I love her children and praise be to God. God, she bounced back from death's door. Somebody open your mouth and, and give God some praise. Woo. Lift your hands, everybody. That devil is a liar and so is mother-in-law. Somebody praise God. The spirit of hell have so many people trapped here. So you have some sophisticated people in these days who comes to church to watch. I rebuke you. Scribes and Pharisees watching to see if he would heal on the Sabbath day. Somebody help me in the house. Yeah, I pray that every, every child of God, thank you, sis. I pray that every child of God who comes to this church would be so heavenly minded that you want to help somebody. 
but not too heavenly minded till it become no earthly good. Somebody help me. The scribes and the Pharisees were so heavenly minded till there were no earthly good. Criticize everything that Jesus did. Come on, somebody. They were so sad, you see. Amen. They were so far, you see, till they criticize everything that Jesus did. Hallelujah. I pray that a revival break. Jesus, somebody praise God. Flush out some scribes and Pharisees and call the true worshipers to worship. Somebody praise. I wish you were, I wish you understood what I'm saying. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said, I wish you understood what I'm trying to tell you that God's going to flush out some scribes and Pharisees from his church. All they do is come to criticize and to talk about people who God has healed. Somebody praise God, but God will come promote. There's a promotion taking now. Somebody praise God. Some of you becoming better praisers and better worshipers. I feel like the anointing of God is lifting somebody to their next dimension. Lift your hands everywhere and let's just praise God because there's a mighty, a mighty touch from heaven. So Jesus saw the man with the withered hand. See when you have a, a hand that is withered. When you have a crippled hand. You got to use one hand to do everything. And because he used one hand to do everything. People scorn you. Because they're using one hand to do everything. Somebody praise it. And that one hand they won't shake it. Because they figured you're unclean. Somebody help me. Hey, scientists have said you use your right hand to do most things. So when you want to do your bodily function, is your right hand you use, if I want to be clearer than that. Somebody praise Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So hear me, ladies and gentlemen, the man's hand was with it. And Jesus saw the situation as he entered the synagogue. Mm. Somebody praise God. He entered the synagogue and saw the situation. Jesus from heaven is looking in your situation. Right now his presence is here. How many can feel his presence? The moment he entered the synagogue, he knew that somebody was in trouble. Who is it that is in trouble? God sees that, heard that, understand that he's about to bring you out. Somebody praise Jesus. So the moment he saw the man with the withered hand, he, he, he said, stretch forth your hand. Because he know that he has healing. Some of your life has been withered. What's withered in your life? Is it your marriage that is withered? Somebody help me. Hallelujah. Somebody praise God. Jesus in verse 5 said he was grieved to know that these Sadducees and Pharisees we're just wondering about their ceremonial law and forget to think about the good of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, I got an announcement for you. Jesus is the Jesus who made the Sabbath. And he can do anything than the day he wished. Somebody praise God. I don't know what trouble you are in, but right now, I come to help somebody. Jesus has walked through the door. He is the King of kings and the Lord of lords. He's about to lift you. He's about to turn your life around. Somebody praise God. You're, those people who are looking at you are going to be ashamed. 
their competitors are about to be put to shame those of who are competing against you they say you are an underdog because some a portion of your life is crippled look at your son they say he's crippled look at your daughter because they didn't pass the exams it's crippled but tell them it's a lie you got jesus he has come to your rescue and he's about to deliver you. Somebody help me in the house. Open your mouth and shout a hallelujah. Jesus opened his mouth and declared, Amen. Man, stretch forth your hand. And when he said that, my God, the man stretched forth his hand according to verse 6. Look what verse 6 says. And the Pharisees went forth and straightway took counsel with the Herodians against him how they might destroy him. Jesus. Because he healed the sick, the man's hand was stretched and he was now healed. Whatever the circumstances that is in your life, stretch your right hand. Thank God for healing now. Somebody praise God. Somebody help me. You have just stretched your hands. That means whatever you have in your hands, your life, your, your feet, whatever it is in your stomach, whatever is it in your life, whatever it is in your home, whatever it is in your business, at your workplace, you have just stretched your right hand. You have stretched it out and Jesus has healed you. Open your mouth and give God praise. Say thank you for healing me, Lord. Thank you for delivering me, Jesus. Thank you for touching my sons and my daughters. Thank you for touching my, my, my relatives. Thank you for touching your body. Declare it, I am healed. I, I am healed. Say praise Jesus. Stand up, novel. Stand up. Look at the young man now. Look at him. I didn't know he was stand up, everybody. I didn't know he was suffering from his kidney failure. But all I did was to reach up my hand and told him, you're healed. Went home, passed out some black thing out of his body. Come on, somebody. Because God healed him and delivered him. Somebody praise Jesus. Now I cannot tell you this, ladies and gentlemen. I want you to come to Port Portmore with me Sunday evening. Beg somebody to work with you. Because he what he said, he had a kidney problem. And now he touches his, his kidney and touches brother's kidney. And his brother's kidney got healed. Which means that God is giving you the power of healing. Somebody help me in the house. Uh, lift your voice and give God some praise here. You heard what he said. He can eat anything now. He's working hard. He said he's lifting up, kid, he's lifting up cement. Hmm? You, got, you, you got healed too? Yes. Tell me what you got healed from. I got healed from an 18-year stomach pain. My God. And a back pain. Mm. In the name of Jesus right here. Right here. Somebody praise God. This morning, a gentleman looked at me and I said, I'm going to church. He said, oh, you're going to the Obia church? I said, yes. Wow. <laughs> I, I, I heard that so many times. That this bishop in Spanish town is an Obia man. <laughs> I heard that so many times, pressure. They said, I'm an Obia man. I wish God could raise up a thousand of a man like me. <laughs> Somebody help me, the man. You see, I told these people, I was preaching in St. Anne. My God, the Holy Ghost walked in that place, healed a woman with the, with the, with the jackfruit foot. And she, who was with me when I went to St. Anne? The woman had the jackfruit foot. Yeah, some of you are not here, yeah. But my God, 
12 o'clock in the night, I'm begging for a little olive oil to rub the woman's foot. Matter of fact, begging for a little light. See what's happening. No, I beg for, um, yeah, I beg for olive oil and said, sir, the, the, the shop is locked. And you know what I did? Get some spit in my mouth. Somebody praise God. My God, I spit on that thing three times or four times. Spit on it. What do I do? I disgrace it. By the time I got up, the carpenter, everybody was running away from me and the woman. I said, why are you running away? She said, Bishop, you know, sister, the water on her own one foot. Five feet down the road, water surrounds her. Hallelujah. Somebody open your mouth and shout a hallelujah. I was flying to, get to, to London the next day. My wife had to go down there flying to London and the British Airway gave me a first class ticket and I didn't pay for it. But my wife, so when she got there the next day, they said there's a busload of people that came from other places. So they're looking for the Obia man. <laughs> Somebody help me in the house. Because St. Anne was where a man right in Higginton, a man was down there, him named Captain. And Captain bewitched the whole community. So when I went there, little girl was in church and 12 o'clock, we want to go home and couldn't go home. We have to take the girl home. My wife and, and two other workers had to take her home. I stayed at the bottom of the road while the girl, me, my, my God, I preached that night till the girl flat out, wouldn't want to go home. So they finally took her to the house. And when I'm at the bottom of the street waiting for them to come back, I heard screams, man. My wife is there and I heard scream. I fly the car open, man. Run up the hill as fast as I could. I said, what's happening here? Who is screaming? I say, it's the girls, huh? I said, girl, why are you screaming like this? She said, sir. Every night a big crook and lizard come up and just open its big eyes looking at me. My God, I start moving fridge, start moving dining rooms, tables and chairs and searching for the lizard, couldn't find it. But the next night I went back to church and the girl was sitting to the front lawyer, Thomas, at the front. When I looked, I saw everybody running. I said, why are you running? They said, see the lizard there, Bishop. Lizard find his way in church, coming right in the direction where the girl was. My God Almighty. Somebody help me in the house. I said, you spirit, I got to where I want you. Jesus, somebody help me. I bow an old broom that they used to clean the church with. And I start to beat that thing, man. It died right there. Somebody praise God. The girl's working now. Hallelujah. Spirits of darkness got to flee. So they call me the Obia man. Somebody praise God. Tell them. Tell them yes. An Obia man is at the train station. Somebody praise God. Never. I've never been to an Obia man. I don't know how they function. But all I know is that the God I serve is with me. The God who delivers knows how to deliver. Somebody praise God. They call me the Obia man in Spanish town because no matter what kind of Obia they work on me. He can't catch me. Open your mouth, lift your hands and say, I shall not die. Somebody open your mouth one more time, declare it. I shall not die. But I shall live. And declare the works. Somebody declare it one more time. Declare it on the head, not the tail. Top, not the bottom. Bless, not cursed. Heal, not sick. Who the sun set free? Open your mouth and shout your hallelujah one more time. I feel the glory of God. I feel the presence of God. I'm about to pray now. Help me, Ellis. I'm about to pray. Somebody open your mouth and shout. Give God a big praise right now. 
For the presence of God is in this place. The anointing has destroyed the yoke. And has set the captives free. Lift your hands if you believe that you're healed. The with that situation is healed. With that condition is healed. With that situation in your home is healed. Open your mouth everybody. Shout your hallelujah one more time. Let God be praised. Let your enemies be scattered. Let the anointing destroy you. Ooh. What a hallelujah. Hallelujah. Somebody praise Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and give God some praise. Every one of you that is sick in your body. I said every one of you that is sick in your body. Lift them hands up where. You want God to do something for you? Open your mouth and shout another hallelujah. I believe. I believe. If you believe. Decree I'm healed. Decree I'm loose. Decree I'm set free. By the power of the Almighty God. Jesus. Hallelujah. Reach out, touch somebody on their shoulder. Lock this aisle. Just all of you in this aisle. Lock the aisle now. I'm, I'm, I'm praying. Jeez. I'm going to pray now. Come on, you come out here. There's a mighty moving place. Woo, Jesus. Reach out and touch somebody on their shoulder. But there's a mighty current going through the atmosphere. Woo, God. It, make sure you're touching somebody because a mighty current is going through the atmosphere. Woo. Something is going up through your shoulder now. Touching your lungs and your kidneys. Something is touching your head. Going in your eyes. Somebody praise God. Some of your family members are right now. Is under fire. The Holy Ghost has reached your home. Burning out some demons and devils. Somebody open your mouth and praise God with me. Fire is burning right now. Glorious anointing is ripping the atmosphere somebody help me let God be praised let me praise let God be praised open your mouth and shout your hallelujah give God a big praise I'm here to announce it's done it's finished it's finished it's finished Hallelujah. The healing has happened. If you can feel the glory, if you can feel the anointing, if you can feel the glory, if you can feel the anointing, the healing has happened. Woman, your house is loose. Prison doors has flung open. Barricades has been lifted. Yes, sir. The barricades has been lifted. Barriers has been broken. Open your mouth, everybody. Shout your hallelujah. All of you that stand up here, come inside here. Come, come, all of you. I know we don't have enough seats in the inside, so come and stand right here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, open your mouth and just shout your hallelujah. Because the chains are broken. 
Open your mouth and shout a hallelujah if you believe that the chains has been broken. The yokes has been lifted. Some of you are feeling the current of the glory. You're feeling the power of the holy anointing. Somebody, if you're feeling it, open your mouth and praise God with me. It's happening now. There's a happening taking in the happening. Stretch, stretch yourself. Say, Lord, deliver me. Stretch yourself. Say, Lord, heal me. Loose me and I shall be loosed. If you can feel this anointing, don't blame me. But all I know is the anointing that destroy yokes and set captives free. Every one of you that is in the house now, believe by faith that your healing has arrived. Everybody, begin to pray now. One more time, everybody pray. Begin to pray now. Say, Father, deliver me from my sinful lifestyle. I have sinned. I have come short of your glory. Cleanse me now. Set me free so that I may glorify your name. God, you're in this place right now. You're doing something beyond me. You're touching my home. You're touching my family. You're touching my life. You're opening doors that are closed. Doors that have been shut in my face. You're opening up those doors now. Lord God, I thank you for a mighty visitation. You've come in this place to set me free. You've come in this place to loose me. Thank you, Jesus, for loosing me now. Lift your hands and worship God now. Hallelujah. 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 Woo. Hallelujah. Put your hands down, everybody. Those of you who believe that God has healed you, lift your hands up now. Let me see those hands raised. Wow, look at hands. Look at people whom God has healed today. Look at people who God set free today. Somebody praise Jesus. If you believe, I don't have to do nothing more but just to praise God. Open your mouth one more time. And give God some praise. Shout your hallelujah a little louder. A mighty breakthrough has come. It's a time for God to visit the earth. It's time for God to visit our country. With a mighty revival. Now listen, listen, turn me down. Many people who came here, I don't touch them. Lady was sitting right here. And she had a problem with cancer. At the same time, she was having diabetes. Reach out. And showed me a doctor's report. But the lab says that this is a problem that she's facing. All I did was to 
worship God. She left the church. After praying, she left the church. Went back and checked with the doctor to do another test. Doctors couldn't find her complaint. That's how God do it now. The Lord told me, Pastor, like Pastor Lamy, you have been my lawyer now for 40 years and I give God praise. Somebody put your hands together. You've been my lawyer for 40 years. She knows how to deal with every land that you need to do. Any land problem, just come talk to her. She's been my lawyer. And let me say this to you. The Lord told me years ago that I'm going to be having service and people are going to be healed and you don't have to touch them. He said, there's so much anointing that's going to emanate from me. And it's going to touch everybody in the congregation. People are going to go home and testify the thing that they were faced with like, like him. He went home and go to the toilet and see blackness coming out of his bowels. Kidney issue was healed. Many of you are experiencing something happening in your body right now. It's a healing anointing. I'm going to pray one more time. Everybody lift your hands up and just say hallelujah. Say thank you Jesus for my healing. Thank you Jesus for my deliverance. Thank you Jesus for setting me free. Open your mouth and say I'm no longer under any bondage. I no longer under any chains. Who the sun set free is free indeed. What I'm trying to do is to help you to, to, to utilize your mouth. The Bible says underneath your tongue is life and death. Somebody praise God. Underneath your tongue is life and death. You got to make up your mind what you want. You have just declared it. You're healed. You're delivered. You're set free. Come on. Claim it. Somebody praise God. Claim it. Open your mouth. Claim it. Claim it. Claim it. It's over and it's done with. Somebody praise God. I said it's over and it's done with. The healing anointing has walked into this place. Come back and share your testimony another time. Because God has walked through this place. There's a glory here. There's a heavy anointing that is walking in this place. And the Spirit of God has lifted a standard. Somebody is loosed by the mighty hand of God. Hallelujah. Lift your hands one more time as I pray. Now listen. The Lord has been showing me some powerful things. He said, many of the scriptures we quoted is for Christians. One of the things he showed me, in the book of Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4, he said, we have been chosen in him from the foundation of the world. Verse 5 says, we have been predestinated. He's speaking about Christians. Romans chapter 8, 28 says, we know that all things work together for good to them that love not those who are chosen or are called according to his purpose. It's all Christians. But in the book of 2 Corinthians chapter 4, it says that the God of this world has blinded many eyes so that they cannot experience. So you're locked out of the kingdom. What Satan does is to lock you up. If you're not a Christian, you're locked out. Those of you who are not Christian, lift your hands up. If you're not saved as yet, lift your hands up. I love you, Lord. Because I gotta bring you into the kingdom. Come quickly if you're not saved. Come quickly, let me pray for you. I gotta drag you into the kingdom. Gotta bring you on board. From Come quickly. The God of this world has blinded many eyes so that they cannot see the glorious kingdom. Many have been blinded. So what the Lord told me to do, the first thing he told me to do to bring them in. Open your mouth and say, help me God to come into the kingdom. If you're not a Christian, leave from where you are quickly. So I can pray with you. With every breath that Hallelujah. I am able, Father, I thank you for touching this woman and, and this woman. 
Thank you for touching this woman too. Drawing them into your kingdom. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have led me through the fire. Order them now, God, decree that they are saved. You are close like no All of these, God, I decree that they are delivered. I've known you as a Pray this prayer. So, Jesus, I thank you for saving me today. I thank you for drawing me into your kingdom. As of today, God, I am delivered. As of today, I'm set free. Thank you for cleansing me from all of my sins. Thank you for washing me from all my iniquities. For you are with me. You are the God that watches over me. You know how to deliver and to set free. Hear thou the cry of your servant. Thank you for saving me. It's all done. You are now a Christian. Come over here. Come. Come this way. You are now a Christian. Come, 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 come. Come this way. Yeah, you are now a Christian. Oh yeah, praise God. Well, get saved quickly. Register yourself to be baptized this Sunday. I don't want to hear that we have your names and you're not baptized. I love Every you. Sunday we have baptism at church. At one goblet drive running over there. For your mercy now all of you, please for God's sake. All my days, I want to believe God by faith. That the healing anointing has come. I'm going to do one thing more. Amen. I want everybody to help me. Amen. With an offering. Take an offering. When they come into your life, if you're sick, I'm going to use olive oil to anoint your head with oil so that your cup may overflow. Everybody.